to not be a team that loses to oh, and flip side, for example. They right? already did the knife. I'm just stupid. Yeah, uh, so we're already getting into it. Wow, world edit already getting shot down. Quick headshot. Freiburg is on a mission. And he's already got two kills here. Maybe a fourth one or third one coming in. Can he actually find Markov? There's a lot of backup here, and Freiburg sees both. That should be a huge tell. Bondi goes down now. NIP know for a fact there's nobody else here. So that information from Freiburg is still huge. And Exist is waiting down here. Markov, how could he know? First fire out. Exist fighting for his life. Got one bullet now. The knife out, and he's running. Markov, is he really going to try and take this? He's now running. He's <laughs> throwing whatever he can. What's going on? Finally, he ends up getting the kill. That looked like pure anger for Markolo. He was like, okay, let's knife fight. Oh, you're going to run away like a little bitch? Well, then, <laughs> you know, just take Throws this grenade. That smoke at him, like. I'm just, now I'm just mad. I'm just angry. Oh, God. Well, that is going to be 1-0 for NIP. What a fantastic start. What is this that, round? That cracks me up. I don't even know what happened there. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in Exist, honestly. I think he should have committed to it. Because yes. Markov took out his knife too, Exist. What are you doing? You go to your pistol after somebody swaps to the knife? That's have like you no the, shame? That's like the unwritten bro code of Counter-Strike. If someone pulls out the knife, that yeah, you have to commit. That's it. You're in. Yep. Oh, Blade and Markov both go down. Cypher focus. I mean, brave challenge just standing up to an IP, but there were four of them around the corner. Can't really survive that long. Well, did it with one good kill, and because Exist is also low, maybe he could find a second one here. Almost takes out Get Right. Not going to be good enough, and Bondic will be alone now in a 1-1-4 here. So, yeah. I mean, strong start for an IP. Yeah, everything going their way, essentially. Four players left alive. The guy who died is Forrest. He got two kills with that SMG, so he'll make his money back and then some. No problem at all for him. And Bondic now just taking up a position, essentially to try and catch a rotator out here, trying to catch somebody exiting. And Freiburg is going to be the one kind of walking through, takes that fight and wins it with the MAC-10. So nicely done there by Freiburg to get a little bit of bonus money in his pocket. And only losing the one versus a force buy. Nipple should be plenty pleased with the results so far. So, 2-0 lead for NIP now, and flip side, hard eco for them. Although Markolov has skimped. Markolov has got 2,600 in the bank. Hmm. What is this? Do they go for a full-on HE strat? No, he's the only one buying an HE. Okay. I thought that we'd see some craziness like, you know, triple HE mid or something like that, but they're going to play it safe for now, flip side. I'd love to see that, though. I mean, it would be funny, wouldn't it? But um, they are going to play it fairly safe. No... No risky business. World Edit is ready with a flashbang, but Markov, I mean, this his whole the Markov's whole day has just been awful, hasn't it? He hasn't had much luck, you're right. Like really not not very lucky at all. Blade. Wow. Freiburg, man. He is like pissed off after train. He quad kill? Really? Quad kill in the round? Okay then, Markov. I mean Freiburg, you can see that. Look at that. 9350. 8700 for Alu as well. But $9,000 by the fourth round. That yeah. is obscene. And what, what, is he really, what is he really spending? Yeah, he drops 3000 just re-upping on nades and an AK. He's still got 6000 in the bank. And get right stage with a MAC-10 as well. Okay, get right. Right, okay. Like, you've made enough money. Yeah, you want to make more, really? Okay, this is going to get tricky here. Flash into mid, though. I like this pop flash, but nobody is there to get greeted by it, and Cyber Focus is going to have to fall back. They do push up, however, and he does manage to catch one, but it's a one-for-one -one trade, and NIP will take that any day of the week. Wow, they could have actually lined up much worse. That could have been Cyber Focus taking, like, two or three in the middle if they just if they were just, like, a little bit out of position then. So, actually a bit lucky for NIP that they came out of that one uh, with, a, with a win. Bondic making a bit of noise in the site, so I think Get Right heard that. Not going to help him too much because he can't really do anything about it just yet. They are rotating a play over. Markolov coming in to help out, and World Edit going to be here using the last smoke they have any second now. Blade goes down, and Bondic. Actually, that was Markolov with a good pickoff now. Get right here. Why does he have this Mag 10? I mean, it's really not the best weapon for it. He's going to need a little bit of backup from Freiburg, who does have the AK. We'll get it right sneaking. Close the Mag 10. If that had been an AK, that's Bondic dead. Yeah, flat out. Come on, get right. That's that's a little bit silly. At least have an MP7. Uh, wow. Nice nade there by Freiburg. Bounces right onto Bondic. What a play from him. And he turns it into a 1v1. He still has a Molotov to play with as well. Peeks out, spots out World Edit, and now he knows he's going to get that Molly out there. That's going to force World Edit out. And he decides to take the fight straight up Freiburg right now. He is so confident. You cannot stop this man. 10, 1, and 1. Wow. Yeah. Freiburg really was angry after train, wasn't he? I mean, he ended train in like a fit of rage where he just sprayed four people down 
And now apparently he's just been like, in the meantime, just been doing like push-ups next to his PC, and now he's just back and like, oh, I want more. More flip side. That's a great start for an IP, obviously. 4-0 flip side back on pistols here. Looking, looking really good here for the Swedish <laughs> and part Finnish team. I love this from NIP as well. They know they get a full read on Flipside's money. Of course, they know that they're going to be very low here. So what do they do? They go for three Mac tens, and they're just going to be running and gunning. Force picks up the first one. Bondic though is going to get the punish out there, and Cyber Focus and Bondic setting up a very effective crossfire at mid. Two kills going to come in here for Get Right. However, instant headshot onto Cyber, and it's Markle off the last man alive here, trying to rotate around. He's stuck on Speedway though, and he's getting flanked out by Exist. He doesn't really have many options here apart from lag down. Yeah, he's gonna get killed there. Markolov, I mean, he's at least uh, he's at least on the scoreboard now. He's actually at top of the scoreboard for his team, but I mean, it doesn't say a lot because they're all on one, two, and three kills here. So, <laughs> five and zero, oh, sixth round coming up is the double up setup for Flipside. That seems to be like their go-to thing, right? Whenever Flipside is struggling, it's like, all right, what do we do? Double up. Yeah, that's the that's this. I mean, we saw how effective it was earlier, though. So, I mean, they can make it work. It's just a question of uh, connecting with the shots, but now they've got the money, and well, the problem is, Cyber, if you go for that crouch scope walk, now you're just slower than molasses in the middle of winter. All who's going to pick up that kill, easy peasy, and now it's a man advantage for NIP going into this crucial round for Flipside. Six rounds on the six rounds in, five rounds on the board for NIP. And they could potentially end it right here, although World Edit is going to catch out Freiburg. So finally, the king of banana, he's been dethroned. Yeah, I mean, kind of gave that up a little bit, didn't he? I gotta wonder if that's gonna put uh, too much of a break on NIP here. Uh, still got a minute left, and they've got two Molotovs and three smokes, so they could make something work. Exist. One jump here will reveal what world that it is, but he'll also give up his own position, so gotta be really careful. Smoke is gonna fade, and world at it. Looking to see if he can spot some feet behind that cart. Not gonna be just yet. No. 45 seconds left here for NIP, though, and losing Forest to Blade is not gonna help things. I mean,. What was that? Is that Alu just running right through? Yes, he does, and he actually does the double take. Takes out Blade, 180 shot from him, and now Bondic alive in the pit, gonna try and stand his ground. Gets that Molotov down in time and hits the headshot onto Exist. Bondic doing big work. He's gonna take out Get Right point blank, and it's gonna be Alu, the last man alive here. Gonna get that shot in the back, and he's not gonna manage it. Markolov is there to save Bondic's life, but that was fantastic play there by Bondic to save the day here for Flipside. Three kills for him in the round, and just beautiful, all of them. That was actually... Or two kills, but... Yeah, yeah. that was actually a bis mi mi big misplay from NIP. Because once they see the grenade training out here, they should know. They guess they couldn't know if there's one or two people here, but... They certainly were playing out very, very slowly. Uh, yeah. Much too slow, really. So, five and one. Th triple up set up from Flipside. I mean... I like On it. On Inferno? Yeah. I mean... That's, uh... I, uh, that's, uh, that's not something we see very often. It's a lot of warps, man. But I guess if you get the entry, that's all right. More than Nip can handle. Just have to pray you're never going to have to go for a retake, but... Right? I mean, that's the, that's the scary thing, if they decide to speed up on B. It's a cool angle. I like this. I mean, hard to, to know that someone's going to be holding here. You might only spot his heels as well. All right, all right. Points for creativity here, changing up the angle like that, but... First frag of the round goes Flipside's way. One round for them on the board. And now, well, NIP gathering up to go towards B. They've got no Molotovs to work with, but they do have three smokes and an HE, so we'll see how they decide to put these into play. Forest, Freiburg getting them set up. CT, Coils, very standard fare coming out here from NIP so far, and the push begins, but Markolov holding up close to the smoke is just going to completely slap them down. Will not be able to swap out for the AK there, but the damage is done. Although, as I say that, Freiburg, he gets the second big kill to open up that site. Yeah, really good job. He does go down, leaving Forest alone. Bomb is planted here. He spent the time wisely, Forest, and now just trying to hide close to the smoke and hope they make a big mistake coming through Flipside. But they are all gathering up all at the same time. Forest is going to be nearly impossible for him here. Takes down one, waits for the next in line. Bondig is right over there. Forest can't connect with the spray. And Cyber Focus comes around the corner with the AWP. So good retake. Expensive round for Flipside, though. Considering the position they were in, they still lost a lot. Yeah, they still lose one of those AWPs, right? So <laughs> you need to live with three players, and they need to save all those guns. Otherwise, you're losing out pretty much. Yeah. It's so expensive to go for a triple off like that. 
But they make it work. They do actually manage to stick the round. And so two rounds on the board now for Flipside. Five on the board still for NIP. And a full buy coming out from Flipside. But because of that bomb plant now, NIP, they have plenty of funds. They got great money. And they're going to be able to go for a full buy of their own. No AWP for Alu, however. So we'll see how he fares with the AK. But as far as NIP are concerned, right now they just go barreling into Banana. They want to get control here fast. And if there's an AWP in play, can they rush him down? That's the question that Nip need an answer for. And they're not uh, going to get it right off the bat, it looks like. Although, they are trying to press this. Great Molotov timing, to be honest, on Markolov. That was really nicely done. But uh, it doesn't get the kill just yet. And he actually will headshot Alu. And now is he going to come his way through? He will take down Exist as well. There's a firing squad waiting for him. Freiburg again with a double return. And um, Nip, I mean, still in this. Freiburg is really doing his best to make sure that Nip always have a chance at the rounds here. But um, it won't be easy. They've got a lot of time, so maybe they could find another kill before they go for the bomb. Last time they didn't. They kind of had to commit to it. This time, bomb goes down. Oh, Whoa. get right. Well, Molotov on to get right. This is going to make things a little toasty for him over here, but he's still able to hold. He's checking that fire. Not going to get spotted until the very end, but he takes out the first man to come around that corner. That is Blade gone. Cyber focus nearly gets baited. That was such a close call there from Cyber. Get right, I'm sure, thought that he had baited out that shot, but Cyber will get the job done in the end. Wow. And the poor fishes, the true victims of this uh, of this game. Yeah, I mean, sure, they they stopped the bomb, but the fish are already dead. So what's the point, right? Tragic, tragic situation. Monsters. Chickens, <sighs> like we said, Anders, right? Chickens, we're fine with. They're tasty. Fish. Yeah, they're not even gonna eat them, are they? Nope. I'm just gonna leave them be. Poison Though, that water. We did also try to convince people they were actually made of gold. So I guess at that point, you know. <laughs> Five to three. Why, I mean, if they made a goal, why are they floating? So no, why don't you stop me when I, when I say these things? Yeah, I did because I, you know, magical things. Oh right? wow! Like triple nade, and that is that was looking for a boiler kill there. They aren't gonna find it though. Cyber focus. Luckily for him, was holding arch side. Was that a tactic to try and kill someone, or was that NIP like preemptively celebrating like fireworks, just like oh yeah, we got it, boom boom, all over the place. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, flashbang gonna go out over the rooftop here. It's actually kind of like an old school thing. We don't see this very much now. People tend to throw that flashbang differently nowadays, but um, there was a while when it was very popular to, to, to have it bounce on this roof instead of bouncing out here. Mm -hmm. Either way, uh, Blade gets an opening frag to take down Get Right, and they've got a solid hold over here. Flipside, good start to the round. Yeah, and very limited nades right now for NIP to work with, so they really are hoping that somebody on Flipside is gonna peek forward and give them an easy kill. Uh, they're just crossing their fingers. This is when you start to see Nip really start to, start to slow down and struggle. Is when they lose that entry frag battle. And losing a second man isn't going to help things either. That's Freiburg gone now. No heroics from him in the past two rounds. He's managed to get two kills each time to basically keep Nip in the round. Alu will be the one to step up this time. But then World Edit takes out Forrest right off the bat. And it's down to exist. Last man alive, but not for long. World Edit with a headshot on him. Two kills. Well, three kills for World Edit. Two for Blade. And a fourth round on the board now for Flipside, who are now one round away from tying things up with NIP. And it's looking pretty likely as well, because finally, finally yeah. Flipside have succeeded in breaking Nip's money. Yeah, good job on, on Flipside here. Really impressive comeback from them so far. I have I have to ask Forrest. Next time I see him, I'm just going to grab him by the arm and say, Forrest, sweet dear, why do you jump into the bomb sites? Why are you jumping? Stop jumping. It's madness. Like, I have no idea why he... It's not like an effective, like, bunny style. You know, if he was bunny hopping into the side, to be great. You know, you're making yourself harder to hit. But did he's you... actually he's actually m making himself slower than he normally would be. No, but, like, did you just call for his honey? Yeah. Was it I honey? I think... I don't know what Darling? I said. Honey? I try not to pay attention to Bay? what I say myself, Sam. You know, it's like... It's enough that no, everyone else has to it listen. It took, like, a few seconds for that to just click for me, where I was just like, wait, wait what did he call for us? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 5-5, five, five, and we're moving into the 11th round. Honey, you know, Forrest, sweetie, come on. Come on, sugar. Don't do it. Just stop it. <laughs> All right, well, that's the score tied. Flip side, uh, really impressing us here. Doing a great job. Oh, man, I love it. All right, well, uh, yeah, definitely, man. We're seeing a totally different beast here from Flipside. You kind of wish that you saw this at the beginning of the half, you know, just because now Nip, they, they still have five rounds. If Nip, they still have five chances here to get like a 6th or a 7th round on the board for NIP and that's more than enough considering you know CT side Inferno is still pretty solid for the uh, for the Swedes so no no chance here for Flipside to let off a little bit to start relaxing it needs to be laser focus every single round they need the remaining 5 they need to end this to half at 10-5 to have a solid shot at uh, at taking the win here and basically tombing NIP as far as the group standings are concerned so 
This is going to be a crucial round right now, whether they can actually hold on or not. Flipside, we shall see. They make the correct call so far to put four players on A. And NIP are still gathered up out here with 50 seconds left. They are going to have to start committing eventually here. Yeah, where is it going to come from? Forest? Well, they're not going to get the opening because Alu will. Great start there. His blade goes down. Cyber focus next in line. Alu is just on a tear. That means Bondic is alone and he gets dropped by Forest. Sends him flying off the truck and Mark of the world that it should not try and, re and fight this. And NIP, they've already won the round. Bomb goes down. Great entrance. That double kill from Alu. Really sick. Oh, yeah. World Edit and Markolov, they're just going to be saving in the back here. Everyone in the chat is still spamming gay. <laughs> what was this about? I don't know. I think it's the Forest thing. I'm not well, sure. I'm glad everybody's happy You know, in the yeah. chat. That's good. Someone said Forest and I could get married. Everybody's watching for You know what? Now we could get married even in Ireland. Which is good news. Oh, yeah. You're right, dude. Actually, yeah. you're right. And it's not too far away either. And didn't what a beautiful place. You I think Freiburg used to honey. live in Ireland for a while, didn't he? Who was it? Freiburg. I yeah, think Freiburg, yeah. He, he lived, lived there with for, what, a couple of years? Yeah. So maybe there's something there. Something, something. Maybe you need to... Well, you know, the thing is, invite Freiburg. Best man. He shows you around. Bam. <laughs> That's perfect. Sorted. I've never been to Ireland myself. Neither have I, man. But, I mean, I get the impression it's like... It's like... Uh, it's like England, only with potentially even more rain, uh, but uh, you know, and, and funnier accents as well. Uh, I love. I I'd like had. it. I'd like to go. I would like to go as well, especially because, um, well, Rennie is in um, Edinburgh. That, so yeah, that's, that's Scotland. Yeah, that's Scotland. So we'll have to do a road if trip. If you basically. confuse Ireland with no, no, Scotland, no, no. then you get you get married in, uh, in Ireland. Freiburg shows us all around. Basically, we have a great time, and then we go and find Rennie in Edinburgh. Spend a little bit of time over there. I can, don't worry, Anders. I got this. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll take care of all the planning. It'll be fabulous. All right, all right. I'll see. We've got a plan now. We've got a plan. Well, that it has a plan as well, and it involves playing super close to this corner with an AWP. We've seen that before multiple times, but it is a bit of a risk. I mean, he's got backup and Markov back here, but still, I'm I'm wondering about this. I feel like it's uh, it could get scary. Flashbang over. Well, that it misses the shot and. He the backup flashbang from Makolov was there to stay, make him stay alive, and now could he get out? He's still not moving. Freiburg is out there. Now he's going to try and make his escape. A little bit of a tense moment. They make it work. Yeah, he does, and they still have the three players. They still have that extra man there in Blade holding from CT. So had Nip tried to get in there to get the punish, there could have been a, quite a bit of a, a return there from Flipside. And IP keeping the, keeping the pressure on right now. Six rounds on the board for them, and... They are the ones who are basically setting Flipside back. Flipside probably spent all the money that they have in this round as well, so it's going to be kind of grim for them. Can't really afford to give anything. Well, what is going on with the NIP? There's 20 seconds left, and they aren't onto a bomb site yet. They're going to fake B. They're, they're making a lot of noise over here, throwing the grenades. Markolov is going to get the kill then, but over at the A bomb site, this is where it's all going to go down. Bondic takes out Forrest. He drops Existence here with the bomb, and they're going to get the plant with uh, just six seconds. Wow, that is really close. That's some Navi timing coming out of NIP here. Not normal to see them play like this. So they're really trying to switch up their style. And I really like it because it obviously caught Flipside completely off guard here. Nice execution. And especially with Alu sneaking up from behind. Not with the most silent weapon for uh, for in, for yeah, for yeah a bit of a backstab there. But it's going to be just fine anyway. The Tech-9 barreling away. Cypher Focus goes down to exist. Nice job from NIP. That's impressive. That's just uh, it, that's not something you normally see NIP do. That's where you gotta wonder at this point. Is that like uh, is that Natu coming in to help out a little bit? You know, mm -hmm. trying to say, guys, uh, you hide me for a reason. You know, let me try and switch up your style a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of like well, Natu. If anybody, if they could have hired any kind of coach, basically, Natu's the man to go for it because he was the man always coming up with clever strategies for Encore. Yeah, you know, and, and he said it best at Gfinity. He was like, well, you know, we were underdogs. We didn't have we didn't have what it took to to beat them straight up, aim to aim. So we had to come up with something clever. Some, we had to come up with a tactical side to make up the difference versus the top teams. Yeah. And so now, not to, he can come into play. He can watch all these maps and say, okay, here's what we can do. And he's got some of the best aimers in the world with some of the most experience. So it's it's a great combination. I'm, I'm glad that Natu is there. He can really make some magic happen, you know, because uh, Nipper Wizards. Well, did it. Already been spotted out. Markolov playing close. C set in hand, but... Are they going to check? Good flashbang in, and Markolov's going to pick up a great double kill. Blade with a headshot on the forest as well. What a round here from Flipside. Very nicely set up, and they timed that to the absolute limit. If they'd waited a little bit longer or gone a little bit earlier, then it would have all fallen apart here. Alu still picks up a kill now. they got to be careful. World Edit takes a quick fight here. He's got no armor, so Alu, well, it's going to be a headshot. 
And World Edit is gone. The bomb is going to go down over at the B-bomb site while Markolov is at A. And the timing here is going to be sick. So Markolov has to spend 10 seconds defusing, 35 second bomb timer, and he's got 13 seconds just to run there, which means he has to kill Get Right very, very quickly here, so it's not going to work out at all, and he knows it as well. Get Right, the time wasted already means Markolov is in a lot of trouble now. Get Right, falling back behind the corner, and now it's almost no chance that he can do this. This is so tough now, yeah, exactly, because Get Right, he's even got some nades to use just, as, just to confuse. Markloff, Markloff, yeah, just full face, doesn't even see that flash coming, and what a clean finish there by Get Right, the clutch, that's exactly what had to happen, and right now, Flipside are having a very rough time indeed, not the Flipside that we saw versus Fnatic, and IP, they are just completely on a different level at this point, Freiburg sitting with 15 frags, top fragging by a fairly large margin, Markloff though, actually, that's one thing to point out, you know, it is Markloff who's had a complete turnaround as far as his performance is concerned, yeah. Starting the night off with a horrendous start versus Fnatic, basically like two frags at the end of the half, and now we see him sitting on 13. So he's getting some kills. It's, uh, it's actually Bondic who's kind of uh, been invisible here for Flipside, and he was the standout man versus Fnatic. So different people stepping up right now at different times, but at the end of the day, it's going to be the 14th round, and NIP have all of the pressure going on to Flipside. Eight and five. Oh no, on the Molotov here, Cypher Focus actually just takes the fight. That's brave, but. Obviously, that was a perfect call to make. Exist goes down. Alu now looking for a bit of a counter opening here and actually doesn't get taken out. That could have been death there on the other f flank. Cyper focus. Grenade here going to end him. Wow, that landed right at his feet as well. I actually think he stopped the grenade with his body. Probably, dude. The way that he like got blasted into that wall there. Brutal stuff. But it is going to be a trade. 4-4 four to four now. And NIP with 45 seconds left on this clock. It's going to come down to this B play. It looks like they're going to rotate Forrest back over there to help. And Bodic literally stopping Get Right Cold on the balcony there. That's incredible. As the flash clears, he's able to pick up that kill for free. And the remaining three members now for NIP are going to start heading onto this B side. But the rotation has already come out from flip side. They realize, wait a second, it was only Get Right. They've got to be going the other way. Well, did it now. 20 bullets here. Not going to get a single one. And that's a big problem for us with a... Nice headshot, Markolov comes through, gets one, continues the spray, and really, really nearly drops Forrest then. He's on three health, and Bomb is going to go down. It's going to be a full retake. No kit once again on flip side. And this could really come back to haunt them here. Alu in the back lines. Going to pick up the one kill, goes for the repeat, and it makes it look easy. Triple kill on him. And nine to five. My god, flip side, they're really getting wrecked on this map. Yeah, they're getting demolished. And it's not going to get any easier going into the 15th round. 5-9, to nine, Nip well in the lead. Just fantastic performance so far. Alu, why are you throwing away your off, man? Wait, what is going on? Triple max, se uh, max 7 here. What is going on with Alu? Is he juggling? Is he juggling? No way. No, okay, he threw away his op. Okay, I was about to say, like that, that would be like the first time I've seen somebody attempt to juggle an AWP and AK from T-Spawn. Just trying to bring it with him all along? Yeah, because you saw that, right? He just kept swapping out his, a his AK uh, AWP, so... That would have been good fun. I would have enjoyed that. That would have been amazing. So a lot of Max 7's Bondic. Is he going to get the first shot then? Yeah. Get right. I mean, it's going to be like a closed casket funeral right there. Though Four is knowing the angle well enough to uh, take a shot at Bondic there. That's hard to hit as well these days, just because... Uh those walls now are pretty much like cement. You can't really wall bang through when you used to be able to do quite a bit of damage. So you haven't really seen people go for that wall bang very much race uh, lately. Blade is going to take that peak in mid behind the flash. And right now, looks like NIP are slowly but surely getting funneled towards that B site. They've got banana control. Freiburg's there, of course, you know, so it's only natural. But yeah. Now, what can they do? Alu is going to be the man who's kind of lurking over here this time around, but that's because Get Right is dead, essentially. So he's just trying to make some noise, draw the attention here. Blade spots him, though. Wild spray by Alu. And he's gonna not going to get that kill. Blade will best him. Oh, no. Samurai, it's going to be another 9-6 finish. No, don't, 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 don't. You're going to jinx it. It's, it, it's happening. You're going to jinx it, closer. dude. Well, dead it. I hope so. We can't keep having this. I mean... The Illuminati is going to be too much to handle, really. Exist very low on health in the back lines here. Forrest a little bit more playing over by Flowers and Exist. I mean, if they, if they actually do have a Molotov, that means he's definitely gone. If this Molotov goes back here, there's no escaping. Oh, no, and Exist goes down. Forrest gets dropped, and it is confirmed, Semler. It's all evening, all the time. We started something. Where are the trucks? Is there any license plate on this? No. 
Oh, but there is balance in the world, you're right, and there's the yin, the yang, the six, the nine. I can't believe it. I it's mean, possible. There's no, there, are, there are actually no no license plates on any of these trucks. What is the matter with these people? I mean, I guess this wouldn't have a license plate. Well, you're trailing it behind your car, right? <laughs> well, I guess, yeah, maybe it should have. Hey, it should have brake lights. It should have, it should have the license plate. Okay, guys, we're just going to reconnect mean, back on. in again here um, just to make sure that we've got everything working out. Second half is coming up, obviously, between Flipside and NIP. We get another 6-9 finish. Wow. Someone's trying to send us a message here. Yeah, I can guys. Feel it. I, let's get some 1Gs in the chat. Let's get some 1Gs in the chat real quick. <laughs> you know, balance in the world, in the universe, it exists. The yin, the yang, the 6, the 9. Let's, uh, let's get some hype going in the chat, guys. 1Gs, throw them up. But... Uh, yeah, man. Illuminati is right. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Well, strong. Really strong start for NIP. Even if they lose this pissed round, it's going to be hard for them to lose the game. Like, you can't, can't flip sign out. I mean, maybe they're going to find some sort of extra level here and really take it to NIP. But if they lose the pistol flip side, I don't see them coming back from this forest. Missing the timing by a second there. But I think Exist landed a shot on Blade that was very painful. He's down to two health. This is not the best start. Look at this ultra passive hold though from NIP after the initial fight going down. Now it's just passive angles with Exist playing from Pit. Forrest, does he have his back? Yes, he does. Okay, so all is right in the world. I thought there was a big shift in positioning there, but NIP have gone back to what's good. And flip side for now, still continue to gather up in banana. They've got a minute, so they've got plenty of time. What they want to do is get top banana control, basically, and see if they can't start setting up for a B take if they want to, because they've got apartments. They cleared out apartments. They cleared out. At least T, to a certain extent. And it is going to be banana after all. Yeah, Blade staying alive means he can still throw this smoke in, which is going to land at CT spawn or towards CT spawn entrance. And Freiburg up here on the coil is going to be with the P2000 in hand. One click is going to be a kill on anyone down there, but not going to get it just yet. And they're rushing in. Freiburg missing a lot of shots, more than he should have then. And get right now in a very uncomfortable position. It's going to end up getting dropped as well. Alu did pick up Bondic, but he falls down to Cypher Focus, who gets two in the round, leaving it in a really weird 2v2, where NIP are now just getting into position. The bomb has not been picked up yet, and oh, Forrest! What a beautiful kill. That's some That's classic hard work right there. Now, actually, oh, Blade is still alive. I'd counted wait, him out. Wait, wait, oh. wait, they did plant the bomb! Oh, no! Are you kidding me, Flipside? Is this real life? What just happened? I don't even know, dude. This is insane. They don't plant the bomb. They're both out hunting. That must be some massive miscommunication on flip side. I mean, I don't know what to say. That is that is just shocking. Oh man, that is pain. Agony. If you are on flip side right now, you had that situation. That is really hard to deal with. Oh man. They did all of that, and then it turned out not to be enough. And now Nip, they're just celebrating. They've got the UMPs, the MP9s, the Bison as well on Get Right. Why not? They've got all the equipment. Oof. Oh, that's disheartening, to say the least. And now Bondic, he will take the fight versus Exist. He gets that instant headshot well within lethal range. But then all and Get Right step right back in, and Bondic is left all by his lonesome. He's got that from Oscar. He's going to get flanked out by Forrest. And it's going to be a very quick... And clean round here for NIP in the second round of this half. 11-6 the score, and NIP just go trouncing on towards the victory here. Flip side, what can they do apart from hard eco in this round, essentially? It's not pretty. Yeah, I don't know what to say. This That's definitely a really rough way to, to lose a round. Like, that's, that's something you can't really get over. You've got everything under control. And then all you needed was another three or four seconds there that you did not have. And Forrest, he's feeling it. You know, already pushing down like this. Allo with the UMP to pick up another kill. And they have just got this all under control. World Edit going to be all alone. Goes down. Gets a one kill and exist. But that's it. 12 to 6. And tied for top fragging is between Freiburg and Allo, in fact. Doing a really good job at the moment. Both of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got a good level. But I guess uh, one thing to point out is that, like, or I guess, you know, Freiburg, kind of hard for him to maintain that level yeah because I mean, he started off so strong 10-0 10, 10 like 10 1 and 0 or something like that so i mean, you're not gonna you're not gonna stay that hot forever freiburg is pretty hot but he's not like blue flame hot he's kind of like simmered down to like an orange flame now so still he'll still burn you oh that's a powerful double grenade as wow. well and cyber focus is down to 13 
But you're right, you know, he's been playing at a pretty pretty top level for a while now, Freiburg. Gotta, gotta be careful, he doesn't burn it all on one game here, but obviously still doing quite well. Sees the boost coming, takes out Bondic. Mm. And now World Edit, I mean, they try to go for the boost, they fail it, Freiburg hears it, he's trying to get the punish, and he's not gonna hit the spray just right. 42 le life left on him, that is really close. And he's gonna have the support from his mate as well. Get right has got his back. They decide to re-smoke. And Flipside still down a man. They had a shot. They had a chance to bring it back to a four on four. But that slips through their fingers. And this might have to be Markolov trying to make an opening win. He's been top fragging on a, for a while now on Flipside on this map. See if he can secure them something in the middle. Although there is a crossfire going on between Alu and they break the crossfire with the smoke. That's what you want to do. Markolov goes down. World Edit will get the kill on Forrest then. And it's going to be Alu now. Closest to the bomb site. Blade might be able to get the kill if he's re or the kill the bomb plant if he's really quick about it, which would help his team out. But he, it's hard to know if you should go for the win or just go for the easy money. And he goes for the money, which means now they're going to be in position here all around him. I think the 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 break that went through Alu's oh so Blade's mind then he's thinking, what how much time is left? Could I realistically what, what if I walk out and get a kill on one and turn into one v two? Then maybe I walk back again and get another kill and make it a 1v1. Like, you, you've got to try and make some sort of swift calculation about whether or not it's it's likely that you can actually win that 1v3. And he just thinks, all right, if I get the bomb plant down, my team can buy, I'll go for yeah. that. Exactly. Look at how close it was there. I mean, they were at 3,700 remarkable off. If they don't have that 800 bucks bonus, they're on 2,900. Then it's like Tech 9 armor buy. It's, it's just ugly for Flipside. At least because of that bonus money, they can go Galil armor, get some nades. That's a lot to work with. It makes a difference. So... Flipside would be plenty pleased with that at least. It gives them another solid shot here, but NIP are up on 13 rounds now in this half, and Forrest going for a bit of the cheek, going for the balcony boost up here on short. You gotta like this position a lot, man. JW also uses this one. Kiyoshima uses this one. It's, it's starting to become a pretty uh, pretty standard place to, to actually hold from on short. Yeah. Really annoying as well, because even if it's like, even if it's used, it's, you know, you're not going to be looking there automatically. Like, yeah. instinctively, it's going to be hard to just pre-aim that, so still very frustrating to play against. And Freiburg, the king of bananas, still just holding it alone. Going to be leaving him there. Oh! oh sit down. We well, swapped away just as World Edit uh, split Freiburg's skull in two. That AK-47 now exists. Gets smoked off once again, and he just starts spraying immediately. Doesn't want to let anyone through. Alu on the other side does spot out Bondic, but he's already down. To about half health, and it's a good kill there from Aludo to take out Bondic and the smoke. Not gonna stop Exist from getting a kill, meaning World Edit got the great start, but that's what he did. Aludo will take him out for a triple kill, 14 to 6. Flip side out of money as, as well. This is just not looking good here for the CIS team. Yeah, now it gets, a, it gets into the awkward situation. Do you go for the Tech Nines? Do you go for, uh, I mean, do you, you're, if you go Galil, you're gonna, only gonna have a couple uh, flashes to work with. You're gonna be limited on your nades, so we'll see who took the hit. As far as that's concerned, Markoloff will go Tech-9 just so he can afford to get the full nades. So, 14 rounds now for NIP, 6 for Flipside, and it is looking grim indeed. Yeah. I mean, and again, NIP just pushing down the middle really rapidly here. Freiburg still holding top banana, and he's one kill away from tying Alu in top frag. So, you know, there's like an internal battle going on here yeah. who can get the most. And Alu, he wants them so badly that he's going to push forward just to try and see if he can get a kill here. World edit, going to go down, and... Alu's not going to find anyone else there, but the bomb is down there somewhere, so he can definitely do that. Freiburg also gets a kill, so they're really still, you know, neck and neck at the moment, trying to pick up the next kill. Look at this, 22-21. And Alu didn't realize that the bomb was dropped back in T-Pit, so he's going to flash his way through apartments. Get right, luckily catches that lurker, Cyber Focus, who's trying to work his way back into CT. And Alu spots out the man in Boiler, key spot there. Markoloff down to 5 HP. And he's now pinned down. He's in a bit of a tight spot. He's going to get hunted down. And Freiburg finds Bondic. 15 rounds. And yeah, they had to get the kills, man. They had to get the kills. Alu down up to 23. He's in the lead. But there's one round left potentially here, Anders. It's yeah. not done yet. No, it's not. It's funny they keep trading frags in that round. Just uh, two for each. Let's see who's going to end up on top. Is it Alu or is it uh, Freiburg? See, this is the moment where Alu starts making those jokes, you know, like push them like you push your girlfriends and stuff like that, just to try and throw Freiburg off of his game, give him a little bit of a mental edge. Because look at this. Again, he goes straight down mid. Like, he's just hungry. He wants to get those kills right fast. And Freiburg on the edge of the smoke. He's going to be playing a bit of a dangerous game if Blade catches on. Oh, Alu, same position. Oh, my God, they don't check. Well, did it. 
almost gets the 180 turn then to take him out. And Alu gonna be running from the shot again. Freiburg. No! <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's how you do it, Freiburg. No competition. competition. No, but that loses him a frag as well. That means Alu's at 24. Oh no! Oh, wait, wait, wait. But Freiburg's still alive. Freiburg, he can still save this. If he gets all three of the remaining kills, but that's not gonna happen. It's just robs him. Freiburg, <laughs> you gotta get the last two, man. You gotta at least tie it. Oh, in the far off distance, I'm hearing Semphis saying, "Exiting B, exiting B." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't think Freiburg's want to apologize though, dude. That is amazing. Cyber Focus is gonna get a kill. There is still hope. Freiburg's dream. It's not over yet, but it might be here as Get Right's waiting in a perfect position and. It can't happen any longer. Freiburg knows he's lost that one team kill. Deduct it one. Now he's, well, I guess he could actually lose now just to keep playing, but he's going to spot out Bondic. Does a bit of a fire then. I, don't, I think Freiburg's trying to throw this. I think he wants to play another round just to see if he can catch up here. Going for it against Bondic. He's going to get it anyway. Freiburg with 23, Alu on 24, and it's going to be over. <laughs> oh, Freiburg. <laughs> what a game. What a way to end. You, at least you had a chance if you just let him live. Why'd you have to be a monster?